I became a citizen last uh, week. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. I'm very excited about that. And That's exciting. I heard the, for the World Cup, I guess Belgium is going to end up playing against the U.S. if they win. We're, so What are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> what will you do? I think you know what you have to Belgium. do. Belgium, yeah. Uh, I was, was going to say America. Oh. <laughs> Oops. We've they taken you me. in. We've taken you in. <laughs> yeah. Look, yeah. I hope it, it will be a, it'll, look, it'll be a moral victory yeah. for you. Yeah. Because you 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 know you you have love for both, <laughs> yeah. But it should be an American victory. Well, if Belgium wins, then I'm gonna think like, yeah, I love you. I just want. <laughs> well, you can blame me. Yeah. But also thank me. Yeah. Because you, I'm helping you become more American. Yeah. Well, that's true though. Yeah. Well, this is where, all amazing. Yeah. Where do you live out here? Uh, in Beaumont. It's uh, an hour and a half east of LA. Why but, Beaumont? Uh, because my husband is in the military. Oh, and, which which uh, branch? Uh, Air Force. He's. I was in Air. I was in the Air Force. You, you? Yeah, I grew up in the Air Force. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so we yeah. moved all over the place. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. You live on the air base there? Uh, no, we don't. Um, I, th I guess they have some housing there, but mm -hmm. I don't know if there's actually people living oh. on that base. So you're American-American. You married a military guy. From the Philippines, who was oh. born in Guam. Wow. And um, That's a real American, though. We're all for it from everywhere now. Yeah, it's a melting pot. Yeah. And now I came in there, and now it's even it's more amazing. of a melting pot. <laughs> right? You're ki so he's, he's Filipino? Yes, he is. Yeah, he speaks Tagalog. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do you speak Tagalog? Um, only the bad I words? can only curse. Like, yeah, like, me. Me too. Mo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, yeah. There you oh, this is awesome. <laughs> and, have you ever tried bullet? It's like the little baby duck, and then uh, you have to suck Oh, no, 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 no. That is in the, the eggshell thing? Yeah. Oh, it's like a Filipino delicacy. They have the, the, the it's like a fetus, and then yeah. they open the egg, and you're still there, and they suck it out. Yeah. I don't know what's close. And there's like a I baby ducky in there, and then you can see, I think you can see like the. The thing. beak? Do you eat it? No. They do, they, no. Sp sp they think the whole, and then they spit out the beak? Yeah, yeah. The I, I don't know. Did your eat. husband do it? Uh, I think, yeah. I wow. think so. Um, I don't know if he just gave me the rap or oh, said, no, keep going, just no, ask a question. Wouldn't that be great if you rapped on that? Yeah, so this was all great. Great movie. Oh, um, <laughs> okay, let's talk about the movie. Um, what I like about your character is that she's not the nagging wife. Thanks. She understands. Well, you, and you would understand that. Like, that's what I based it on, you know, as a military. Yeah kid, I know what it's like to have a loved one who has to go off and go into a war mm -hmm. and, and friends who are married to cops or firefighters. Mm -hmm. So like that is, you know, when you, when you are married to someone in that field, you, you have to have a, a, an understanding yeah. and you have to be their friend and be compassionate. And it's really important to create a home base for them to, to come home to and be safe. Yeah. Uh, so that was a big thing for me not to be the nagging wife. And also yeah. I felt that if I was a nagging wife all the time, then he might just ask the devil to take him away. So <laughs> yeah. I felt that for the movie, yeah. it should make sense that I was a, a sweet wife and yeah. we had a good relationship. Yeah, it's good that you mentioned that, like, from in, in the military, like, you have to understand because otherwise it's never going to work out. It's just like, no, and, you know. and it's part of their job and part of what they're doing in, in that service. I mean, not yeah. many people can take on that as, their, uh, as a profession and, and dedicate their life to service in that way. Yeah. And, and, um, and people forget often about how strong the woman has to be mm -hmm. to, to handle that, to know that somebody you love is putting themselves in danger all the time yeah. or have that possibility. Mm -hmm. and, and they're long hours and they're, and they're gone a lot. And when you have kids, yeah. you, you don't crumble when they leave. You have to, you know, s stay strong. Mm -hmm. How was that for you, like growing up and then moving to one place to the other? You know, uh, I, I, at times I felt it was hard, but in general I, kind, I got to a place very early on in my in my life to, to try to cope with it, mm -hmm. I just looked at it like a new beginning everywhere I went, and um, but it, it definitely it made it, not looking back I can see how it helped me uh, as an actor because you know we get used to rejection so much here you have to yeah and I think people I have friends who you know have a harder time with rejection and they have thinner skin and when you move around a lot you get a tougher skin because yeah. you're always the new kid so yeah. it's restarting all the time. So not being liked or kind of being pushed to the outside and being rejected, normal feeling for me. So yeah. you can, I can you know, survive in, in Hollywood a little, bit, a little bit longer. I can claw on a little bit more. Well, this is great. Yeah, you gave me the wrap now. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> so nice to meet uh, you. Meeting you. Good luck.